Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to show you the actual pricing for $5,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 68-year-old male. Now, first thing I suggest is go to our website at funeralfunds.com, and we've got these quarters on just about every page, and just select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount, put your birthday in there, the rest of the info, click Get Quotes Now, and it will take you to a page that's going to show you the best insurance companies with the lowest pricing in your state that you can qualify for. And the nice thing about that is it will help you avoid two mistakes. The first mistake is falling for those plans out there that are, you know, they have those low teaser rates, super low pricing. And when you call them up, the coverage is so low that they end up trying to upsell you into a more expensive plan. We don't recommend that at all. You know, a lot, a lot of see, times see those advertised on TV, magazines, and, you know, junk mail as well that comes to your mailbox. And then also, we'll help you avoid those plans that have mandatory two-year waiting periods. And, uh, yeah, you don't want that and because a lot of times those plans are, like, up to 200% more expensive than first aid coverage. So... Keep in mind, too, you can also call us at 888-862-9456, and one of our agents can help you out with this as well. But really, the first thing a 68-year-old male should ask themselves if they're looking for $5,000 worth of insurance is, you know, is that going to be enough for your final expense needs? And final expense is going to be either cremation or burial, typically. So let's dive into that a little bit. The average cost of a cremation right now in the United States is between one to $2,000. That's if you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. Now, if you're going to have that cremation and have some sort of ceremony, that's probably going to be between $3,500 to $4,500. So let's kind of talk about coverage amounts. So for that first cremation where you're going to be coming home in a cardboard box or an urn, we would typically help people and re recommend coverage-wise between $5,000 to $7,000. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, yeah, Randy, but you said the, the cost of the cremation is probably $2,000, but why are we looking at $5,000 worth of insurance? Great question, because we're talking about a 68-year-old here who probably wants to get to 78, maybe even 88, you know. So we know that as time goes on, things get more expensive due to inflation. So what we want to do is just build in a little extra coverage and lock it in at your lowest rate, rate right now so you don't have to worry about this in the future. And by getting a little bit more coverage now, you don't have to worry about inflation in the future as much. And then you also, you know, if something did happen sooner, you know, there's a little bit extra money in there to maybe pay some extra bills that you'd intended to pay off but never got, got to. And that could even be like medical bills or something like that. So if we're talking about the cremation where there's going to be a ceremony, we would typically recommend between $7,000 to $10,000. And again, there's a little bit more money left in there to cover the cost of inflation, but also, God forbid, if something happens a little sooner, there's a little money just to help kind of the family take care of that stuff too. Now, as far as a burial, the average cost of a burial right now in the United States is right around $10,000. So if you walk into pretty much any funeral home in the United States with a $10,000 check, they should help you with that. It's hard to imagine they would say no to that, make you walk out the door and walk down to one of their competitors that would take that. Just understand at $10,000, that's not going to be a fancy funeral at all. No, that's going to be very basic. So that's kind of the low end floor we would recommend. Typically, we would recommend anywhere between $10,000, dollars and possibly $20,000, but it just depends on your budget. Now, you know, why, why possibly would you get $5,000? Well, maybe you had an existing policy that you had for 5,000 or you had for 10,000. And at the time you got that, that was enough, but now inflation's kind of caught up and you're just needing to get a little bit more coverage. That makes it, might make sense right there. Now, one thing we don't recommend is just going crazy on the coverage. Don't get like 30, 40, $50,000. Typically that one that happens, people want to give money to the kids. You know, at age 68, you probably should have taken care of that with other insurance earlier in life. We typically recommend you just keep this for for um, just final expenses. And the reason is it just gets so expensive. Sometimes people will say, well, if I can't do 50,000, I'm not gonna do anything. And all you've done is just condemn your kids to paying your, your final expenses at that point. Typically, they're gonna have to put it on their credit cards at 26% interest. So that's not great for the kids. You certainly don't wanna do that. So a lot of times what people will do 
is they'll get uh, a policy just to cover their final expenses, and then they'll get a policy just to leave money for the kids. Pretty pretty easy way to do that. And then if you decide in the future, you know, the kids really don't need the money, you can cancel one policy, but you don't affect the other one. So pretty good, pretty good way to go. Now, one thing we always recommend is first day coverage or benefits. And what that means, uh, first day coverage means that if your policy were approved and issued today and you died tomorrow, the insurance company would have to write out that check to you, to your beneficiaries for five, 10, 15, 20, even $25,000. Now we don't recommend two year waiting period plans because they don't do that. We're gonna talk about that in a minute though, but yeah, you want first day coverage. Now, some people would say, hey, uh, yeah, Randy, I do like that first day coverage, but I've got some health issues and I'm worried I not, might not be able to qualify. And we always say, hey, that's our problem, not yours, it's at least when it comes to insurance. And the reason we say that is we work with a whole bunch of different insurance companies. They all ask different health questions. They all have a different underwriting requirements. And right now we're averaging 90 to 95% of the time we're able to get people first day coverage or benefits. Really the only reason we wouldn't be able to get your first day coverage would be if you had some really significant health issues going on, like you had a terminal illness and you weren't going to live another 12 months or you had dementia or you're on dialysis or in, in a hospital or in a nursing home. If that were the case, we typically refer you out to a different insurance company. Uh, it seems another thing that seems to happen on a weekly basis is we'll get somebody that will call up and say, and they'll say, you know, hey, we had a family member pass away this last week and they didn't have insurance and we don't have any money. And, you know, now the body's down at the funeral home and the funeral home director's not gonna do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance right away so we can get the funeral home director paid and get everything done. We have to let them know that there is no insurance company in the United States that's going to offer a policy on a dead person. It does not work out that way. You have to be alive to qualify for this insurance. And it is so sad that the person who passed away didn't take care of this. They knew they were gonna die someday. They just didn't know when. And then they just went, they just done went and died. And now the family members have to pay for this. And typically those family members are gonna to have to put this on a credit card at 26% interest. And it is terrible for them. And what a terrible legacy to leave behind. Have done so many things right in this life. And then you leave the world burdening your family member and loved ones with these expenses. Don't be that person. Don't leave that legacy. That is not a great legacy to leave it all. Now, one thing we don't recommend is those plans with two year waiting periods. In Colonial Penn, their 995 plan, that's a two year waiting period plan. And I guess Colonial Penn's fairly well known. They advertise a lot on TV, don't they? Yeah, it seems like every seven minutes there's a Colonial Penn commercial. But yeah, that 995 plan is a two year waiting period. Ouch plan, yes. And there's other companies out there that offer two year waiting period plans like Mutual of Omaha, their United of Omaha line, AIG, Gerber, you know, just loads of other companies too. And a lot of these companies have done an amazing job at convincing the American public that if they're over age 50, the only thing they're gonna qualify for is a plan with a two year waiting period to which we always say, ha 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 ha. Don't fall for such nonsense because we help people with first aid coverage all day long. Yes, we do. Now, our, our, our 68 year old male probably just finished watching one of those Colonial Pen TV commercials and, uh, you know, probably thinking, you know what? I'm 68. I can probably get 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 probably even $50,000 for $9.95 because that commercial sounds so good. Colonial Pen, you sound like music to my ears. And then, and then, then our 68 year old male calls Colonial Pen and talks with an agent or looks them up on their website like we've done for you here and finds out that a, for a 68 year old male, one unit of coverage, $9.95 is only going to buy $762 worth of coverage. Now, that's not even enough to pay for a cremation in any part of the country that we know of. And even if it was, it wouldn't matter because it's got a two year waiting period and it's not gonna pay any, any death benefit in the next two years if you die of any health or medical reason. 
So yeah, this, it's just such a woefully underfunded plan for $9.95. And some people would say that, you know, there's companies out there that offer these teaser rates, these super low rates. And they do that just to get you to call in or submit your info so you can get in their marketing funnel so they can reach out to you and sell stuff. And, you know, a lot of people would say they have no intention of selling you that low teaser rate plan, just presenting it so that you can see how little coverage it is. And then they can actually upsell you into a more expensive and more profitable policy for them. Now, we would never, we would never say the Colonial Pen does anything like that, but uh, some people may, and you may want to judge for yourself by kind of thinking is nine ninety five for going to be adequate by just paying $762. So anyway, you make that decision, but let's take a look. We're, we, we got to find out like $5,000 worth of insurance here. I'm just, what's that going to be? Is that going to be seven units, seven times? Well, there we go. Yeah, that's probably as close as we're going to get. Uh, you can't buy $5,000 through Colonial Pen, uh, just they, they sell per unit. They don't sell based off coverage amount like all the other great companies do. They sell per unit. And it's the only way they can sell a plan for $9.95 that doesn't offer enough coverage for you. But anyway, so yeah, that's um, right around $70 for $5,000. Let's go compare that to first day coverage here. So we've got $5,000 right here, male, age 68. Here we go. We're going to get quotes now. Let's jump back and look again. This is $5,000 for $70. Look at what we can do, $32. So this company here, great company. We work with them. We can help you get approved. Level coverage, first day coverage. So this is $32 for $5,000 versus the, roughly the same $5,000 for $70. So in this case, Colonial Pen is right at about 200%, if not more. So 200% more, ah, or so. So... Think about it. W would you rather overpay on an insurance policy for the rest of your life and get stuck with a two-year waiting period? Or would you literally like to get practically the same amount of insurance for well over half price? Yeah, it, it doesn't make much sense. So Colonial Pin is roughly $35 more a month than our first day coverage. So $35 a month times 12 months, that's roughly $420 a month. And if our 68-year-old makes it to 78 years old, they will have overpaid Colonial Pen by roughly $4,200, roughly. So, yeah, why would you ever overpay an insurance company, you know, $4,200? That's assuming you only live 10 years. You know, if, if you live 20 years, you're going to overpay $8,400, roughly. Why would you ever do that? And then why would you ever get, uh, get a two-year waiting period when you could get first-day coverage? Man, a living. Yeah, just be a smart consumer. If you're not a smart consumer, let us help you be a smart consumer. Yeah. Let's look at another company here, though. Let's take a look here. Oh, here's one. Uh, Lincoln Heritage. So they're a fine company, I guess. I guess. I guess. But but look at that pricing. Ooh, that's almost $42. It is level coverage. That's that's good, though. But yeah, that pricing's so high, isn't it? Yeah. And the reason it's higher is Lincoln Heritage has a plan where when you pass away, they will supposedly call two or three different funeral homes and uh, see about getting you the lowest pricing. They maybe do a couple other things, but it's not free. No, they charge for that. Let's compare again. So we've got roughly $42, roughly $42 versus $32. So that may not seem like a lot, but that's $10 a month. That's $120 a year. After 10 years, it's going to be an extra $1,200. So you got to ask yourself, is that worth paying an insurance company $1,200 to make two or three phone calls and do a couple of other things that maybe only take an hour or so to do? Would you rather have that money in your own pocket? I'm guessing you'd rather have that money. So what we, what we do is we recommend going with the better price plan. And then what we offer is a free funeral and estate planning guide. And you can download that off our website and print it out. And once it's printed out, you just fill it out. Who gets what? What goes where? What you want done after you're gone? And then once you're done with that, you keep it with your insurance policy. And then when you do pass away, your family members will know that everything's in one place. And they will know that 
that you protected them not only financially with the insurance policy, but also emotionally with the funeral and estate planning guide, because all they will have to do is just execute your wishes. Just do what you wrote down, and they will know that they're doing everything exactly as you wanted, and you'd actually provided the money to do so with the insurance plan. And what a wonderful legacy to leave behind. They will know that you love them not only a life, but you love them enough to protect them in death too, actually when they would probably need you more than any other time in your life. So what a wonderful legacy to leave behind. So yeah, go to our our, our, our website at funeralfunds.com. We've actually got a special quarter for our YouTube viewers, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. You can also call us at 888-862-9456. One of our agents can help you out with this. But whether you've got an existing policy and you want to price shop it to see if you've got the best deal or you want to add coverage to your existing policy, we can help you out with that. If you want a brand new policy or just have some questions about what might be best and what you'd qualify for and what your rates would be, we can help you out with that. But we look forward to that day when we're going to be able to help you get the most amount of coverage for the least amount of money. We will be blessed to help you with this at some point in the future. And until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.